Hi, welcome to the channel again. Uh, this week I've been uh, having one little bit of a challenge when I'm using the new block editor in Gutenberg. And one of the reasons why I started this channel is just to share some solutions I come up with whenever I find a challenge or things that uh, people have been asking me about and I just want to, to share solutions. So if you have any challenge, kindly let me know if it's WordPress related and I will try to to guide you if I can find the solution. So um, this is, when I was writing this little article, I found out that a couple of things that I do need um, in in my in in my article. For example, I needed to make this an uh, um, a subscript to make sure the water stands out as H two O, and I wanted to have this X to the power two, and I wanted just to make a couple of things um, um, drop in into my article. Now, some of these things you can see, there is a plugin that I've just installed that uh, is giving me all these other um, available options. And this plugin is one that I wrote and I have now tried to put on the repo. Uh, I've put it on the repo and it's available under this name, Simple HTML Rich Text for Block Editor. I know that's quite a mouthful, but sometimes it's really hard for you to get proper names for your plugins and so that they are searchable. Remember that the repo has over 57,000 plugins right there. Now, if I just refresh uh, this particular, um, let me just update this because I made a couple of changes. If I refresh this page, um, we'll be looking at this particular toolbar that comes with uh, the, 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 the buttons, uh, with the paragraphs, and you'll see that we have only out of the box we have only four options for us to edit in rich text. We have the bold, we have the italics, we have uh, the strike through and then we have code which can be used to showcase code that is written in a blog post. So I wrote this plugin that is specifically for the blog editor. It's not for the classic editor uh, but of course if you use a classic editor then it will retain that HTML that is added. So when I activate um, this particular plugin uh, um, and refresh this this page. Um, I want you to notice a little change. I'm going to, I have, my plain text is here all through. So as I try to add, maybe change this water by going here and adding it to be a subscript. Of course, this little icon shows you if you're not sure of what um, it's called. And then we're going to make this a superscript which is making it uh, go all the way up. And I will change this word recently to something that is deleted, uh, to, to med. I'll look for something like semantic and then make it into something that is small. Then I'll change the plugin into an inserted text. And then I'll just uh, highlight this open source and call it something that is marked or tagged and then um, I'll just update my my blog post. And when I refresh on the front end, you realize we deleted recently, we made this a, 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 a subscript, we made this a superscript, we marked our open source, and uh, just a couple of things to make it um, better looking. Uh, the good part about this plugin is that it leaves the styling to you. So all you need to do is actually style the tags in your theme, or even use the customizer CSS to make that better. Uh, out of the box I'm using the 2019 uh, theme from uh, WordPress and it's the one giving all these out of the box, the, the particular stylings. But you could change the background, color and so on to fit your design scheme. However, if you look into this post, it has just been adding small text, small tags that come from HTML. These tags are well done, uh, they, are, they are coming from um, what the standard is on um, the different documentations that we do have. So they are okay to use, they are accessible, and you should be able to use them. So this is what I've been up to this week. Um, took me about 30 or so minutes to figure it out, and I hope to share it with you. So if you go on the repo, look out for this, extend your Gutenberg and make it better uh, use for both your clients and yourself as you blog. Thank you. Should you have any challenge, please leave it in the notes, uh, in the comments below. I'll leave a link for the plugin of where you can find it on the WordPress repo for download. And also, 
if you like the video give it a thumbs up and you can even subscribe and get your notifications in so that whenever we release a new video you're able to find it in real time so i look forward to hearing from you have a good day